Williams. Here we go. This is Coors Light's Blue 42. We're going to go red, right, tight, close, sprint left, G, U corner, half back, flat, on two. Ready? Right. The Blue 42 is brought to you by Frost Brewed Coors Light. The mountains turn blue at 42 degrees. Blue 42. Now here's your hosts, Brock Heward and Mike Salk. Blue 42. Blue 42. Blue 42. <laughs> All right, time for a little Coors Light's Blue 42 and three good football questions for Brock every single day. I'm sorry. I just keep looking at the text. I'm blown away by the response on this. So cool. So cool. I mean, we, we at the station, we, as Brock mentioned, we've been working on this for a long time. Hosts and everybody at the station all met together and, and decided that this is the direction we wanted to go with Coaching Boys and Men. And this is the first time we've really talked about it publicly and laid out the website and all that. To see the response from you guys, that's really awesome. Thank you. You can text Coach to 710-710 for more information on Coaching Boys Into Men, a really tremendous prevention program for domestic violence and leadership for high school athletes. Did you mention when they text that in, they're committed to a million dollar? I did, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, it's a, it's a fundraising <laughs> deal. Don't worry, though. Just now they have your information. They'll bother you forever. You're going to love it. It's great. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. True. All right. Question number one. Michael Kendricks, linebacker, signed. K.J. Wright, linebacker, signed. Mm-hmm. What does that look like on the field? Lengthen your lineup, baby. I'll use a little baseball analogy. I'll go a baseball to football here. You got to get as much talent in that lineup as possible. I think, especially with guys Kendrick, who's Kendricks, who's a little bit undersized, and plays with that reckless abandon that Earl Thomas did, and and you know, is a guy that's fought some injuries in his career. And at this stage of the game, where KJ is at, after missing eleven games a year ago, having some surgeries, they're going to take care of him. John Clayton's absolutely right. You know, the, the days of KJ Wright playing sixty-five to seventy snaps a game, I think those are largely over. Uh, I don't think you go and reinvent reinvent KJ Wright at this stage either. He doesn't become a strong side linebacker. Whether that's going to be Barkevius Mingo or maybe it is going to be Bruce Irvin coming back on a minimum deal with a few incentives to really solidify and hold the fort there and still save a couple million bucks by cutting Barkevius Mingo. Maybe you go that route, but no, I don't think KJ becomes a strong side linebacker. Maybe you get a little bigger in a big nickel, a true big, big nickel. I mean, a heavyweight big nickel with or heavyweight nickel with um, Michael and KJ and Bobby all on the field. Who knows? But the more talent, the better, especially at that position group. You need something elite defensively. Would either of them that gives play, you an opportunity. Would KJ play any of the strong side? I just said no. That's you don't just think not so. no. That's just not his. That's he is not a. It's not big enough. No, that's just not his game. He plays in space. It's what he's done for ten years here. It's what he did collegiately. I don't think you just all of a sudden turn that guy into something he's not, and that's certainly not Kendricks either. All right, question number two. Now you want to walk Michael Kendricks out and play a little like slot linebacker from out there and keep Bobby and KJ in the box? I might want to do that. And play like a heavy, heavy nickel? I might do that. That may be a possibility. I might want to walk him out there for some slot linebacker. Awesome. All right, question number two. (laughs) George Fan uh, was also given a second-round tender yesterday, so $3 million offer for him. They want to keep him around very clearly. What does his season look like in 2019? He's got to push push Jermaine Effetti for the right tackle spot. He's got to push him. Now, he's been a left tackle, right? That's... uh, where he's had some spot starts in his career and and what a year ago I think had one started tackle I, he's got to push him he's he's got to be in play for that and at three million bucks and at this stage and with Jermaine Effetti you're going to have to make a decision on his fifth year option here this offseason as well I don't think you can pick that up I think I think you make that a fairly open competition knowing that George Fant can be your 300 pound jumbo tight end that's in your back pocket and that package isn't going anywhere but I'd like to see him from day one of this OTA season, and maybe this $3 million raise here is is also very clear to George. Hey, don't be satisfied with just being a jumbo tight end. You need to come in here and take Jermaine Effetti's job. One of you two could be a long-term play here at Tackle. That's the conversation I want to hear when they get back in the building in a month. All right, question number three. Amidst all the insanity yesterday with free agency and trades and everything else across the NFL, Kyler Murray, the most interesting name in the NFL draft, did hold his private workout pro day at uh, at uh, Oklahoma. How did he do? His arm is plenty talented. His arm, like Baker Mayfield's, is not quite to Russell Wilson's strength, but it's really close. If Russell Wilson throws a 97-mile-an-hour fastball, you know, Baker and this kid are at 95. And this kid may even throw it harder than, uh, than a Baker Mayfield in that baseball comparison. But I just keep looking at him, man, and just the word little. I mean, he is just little. I know he measured at 5'10 and an 8, and there's all sorts of 
all sorts of conspiracy theories now. He did that in his socks at the combine. He wouldn't get remeasured. He wouldn't reweigh. He wouldn't run. And I know I'm getting old. I jumped on a uh, national he's radio show yesterday. Never ever in his life again. Never. And he's not going to run a 40. Can't even when teams bring him in for a pre-draft visit. No, I don't they, know. We'd like to measure. Say we want to measure. I, nope. Nope. I, I'm leaving. I'm getting. I'm getting old. Gotta catch me. So I'm going to give you an old man rant here, and I apologize. And I realize this is a lot more on me than it is on a 23 year old Kyler Murray. But do we really need to wear a shirt with our own name on it? Jordan Brand Pro Day. Murray down the sleeve, like the Jordan Brand wanted to pay a couple thousand dollars for that. Yeah, yeah I'd be oh, I think it's happy. more than I think it's more than a couple thousand. I'm yeah, sure. So what's the I'm sure he's getting paid a lot of money with his Jordan deal. By the way, college players do get paid. He's not playing the NFL, not one down. Uh, and Johnny Manziel was horrible and got a lot of money from Nike before he ever played too. So you don't have to just wait till you get to the league to get paid. You just right? have to wait till you're done playing. And you may not even paid. be able to play, Jamarcus Russell. Right, like that's the may, worst argument you've you ever You may made. not even be able to play and you still get paid lots of money. But a player <laughs> dictating everything and saying, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to run. You're not going to measure me. Like the player empowerment is not just Antonio Brown working his way out. It's also the future number one pick telling all these people in an interview exactly how this interview is going to go. It's going to go on my terms, yeah. and I think he'll still be the number one pick. All right, that's today's course likes Blue 42. I got to disagree with a lot of what you just said. I'm sorry, man. Like, just the, the first of all, that is the worst argument you've ever made no, about paying not. players. Nope. They're done playing football. That's the only time they can make that money. They can't make it until they've officially decided they to They have stop. not played a down in the NFL. They may never play, and they may be awful at the NFL right, level. And they reap enormous benefits from what they did in college. So that's not the, the fault of the advertiser or whatever company wants not, to pay It's him. not the fault. It's the opportunity. Oh, I'm so sorry. So take the opportunity to get paid. I'm sorry, little Texas quarterback that thinks you're in some internship. No, you're not. I don't know any internship. But that's that not an argument. Been. We're not paying talking about current the big, players. Right. We're also not talking about the big argument about paying players. Just the argument that they are getting paid now by getting a, no, a little no, endorsement No, but you don't have end. to wait to wait till getting into the league where you may not even be good I at the you, job. You, have to, you can do it a couple what of months ahead. What you've done in college gets you paid at the millions. very end when you can't play anymore. That's it. Not the entire time leading up to it. It is your internship. You get a couple of weeks You don't even start. have to get the job to your internship. He's out of college. You don't even have to get the job. It's a couple of weeks head start. You're yep. right. They get a couple of extra weeks. No, it's a year head start. Also, Nine month I, head looked start. At, uh, I looked at um, at the jersey because you were railing about that before, and then I saw it. Yeah. I didn't think it was that obvious. It seemed almost like a... Like it seemed like a generic type of yeah. thing that, that they did for everybody that just had his jer- his right. name on it. Right. It didn't. I thought it was going to be like a Kyler Murray branded thing. No, it it's a, it's like a Jordan that. brand thing. It's just it's comical to me that they get to dictate the terms. I won't do this. I won't do that. This is an interview, but I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. And when you have that kind of power and you're the number one pick, you have that say. And you got more of it today than you did 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 30. Where it's going, it may even turn even further. But that is the player telling the future employer how it's going to go down. And to me, that's just uh, yeah, remarkable to watch over the last decade or so.